I'm just watching some SVU. I got the girls here. I know it looks like really bad the way Clementine is, but she can breathe just fine. Look at the little face. Um, I did this so that the light doesn't bother them. I turned on the light so I could look around and clean the room a little bit. Um, Raina, Clementine, and then Jasmine came in here and said good morning to them and then brought them a bunch of toys. She's like, baby sister's toys. So we're going to put them in the double trouble outfit. Shout out to whichever pickle sent us the double trouble outfit. I said thank you in my um, baby shower vlog. So I can not I mean, whoever it is, you can't guess. And then just, like, whoever it actually was is going to be like, well. So I'm saying thank you to whoever. Um, Nick's wearing his awesome, like, my daughter's shirt. I'm wearing my all-black dress. And then they're going to be wearing their black double trouble. And we're going to take some family pics. Yes, Jasmine is also in black. Um, we're going to go to the store and grab some Polaroid film. We're going to use the Polaroid film so we can take some Polaroid pics and um, some pics on the phone as well because then we can get them printed digitally or whatever. I'm going to work on um, the scrapbook, Jasmine's scrapbook right now, and finish tidying up the room. Um, I'm allowed to move. I'm supposed to be moving. I'm not supposed to just lay in bed all day because then my C-section uh, stitches will like stitch. No, they'll dry too stiff. So I'm supposed to be moving around and doing stuff. I'm just not supposed to be doing anything strenuous. So very taking it easy we're actually looking for our second baby carrier like the baby body carrier we have one um but we don't know where the other one is so far but the babies are good they've been asleep um we've changed multiple poopy diapers this morning done multiple bottles and they're just relaxing at this point nice found it okay so now we're good um, I was just about to finish up Jazz's scrapbook so I can return that white glue that I borrowed from my mom today. So I'm going to do that. And we have time to kill before we go to a Mother's Day party. Um, this is the twins' third day out. Say what up, life? Well, it's going to be their third day out at 12, uh, 12, 12, 12, 14. Um, they're actually still two and a half days old, pretty much. Or two days old and 22 hours. You okay, Clemmy? Clemmy, Clem, Clem, you okay? Nick, where's, where's Raina? Oh my gosh, you got her in the swaddles. You got her in the body swaddles. Gonna wear two babies at the store. And, uh, Mr. Cool Dad. Awesome like my daughters. Crazy boy. Think you're gonna get double trouble in there? You gotta, you gotta work it. Work those angles. Yeah. You got Raina in there. Now it's time for Clement. Clementine. Okay, let's get her in. Ugh. Hello, baby. He's like, where am I going? Where am I going? You're going to... No. It's like, does this fool have a bunch of Glocks on him, or does he have a bunch of babies on him? Watch out, world. Yeah. Sir, 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 um, I'm gonna have to check you before you get on the plane. Do you have any, um, oh my gosh, there's a baby face. There's a face. <laughs> Uh-oh, babies galore. What's up? Oh my gosh, she looks crazy. Uh, the other day I bought a pair of jeggings. They look like jeans, but they're really leggings. Uh, you... uh, who cares? So we are supposed to be going to the store soon. That's why Nick was trying out if he could wear both babies at the same time. Um, everything was good. Last night was hard for me. Um, Nick and I got into an argument and I didn't want to be around him anymore so I went to the store by myself. It's like half a mile away so I drove by myself. I know I'm not supposed to be driving after my c-section but it was so close. Literally just down the street. And then I went in for my prescription for my pain meds and like my other medications that were prescribed. But I pulled up at 7 o'clock and the pharmacy closed at 7 o'clock. So by the time I got inside with my slow butt they were fully closed and I was like frick. So I had to go pretty much a night without my medication which sucked. But my neighbor um, has plenty of pain medication and like anti-nausea medication and stuff um, from her men like medical issues. So I went ahead and called her at four in the morning and asked her to bring some over. And she did. And I felt instantly so much better. In fact, I got up and I made breakfast for Jasmine. Um, small breakfast, like literally a bowl of cereal. We made some coffee because we have been 
tired with the twins waking us up every hour on the hour. And it's not like they're waking us up on the hour every hour like in a bad way. It's like, it's just this new thing of not being able to, this new thing of not being able to sleep through the night, which is fine. Like they're good kids, they're good babies. Very thankful for our babies, but it's just like, you gotta, you need coffee when you need coffee. There's no other way to explain it. Um, so we're gonna head out to the store in a little bit um, and get my medication. The store I think has like a lunch break at one to two or something like that. So I need to make sure before we leave. And then we're going over to my mom's for Mother's Day at three because my mom's having a little bit of a shindig. We're just gonna grab some food and then let my parents see the twins. Um, and then like if the party's too much, we're just gonna head home early. Um, if we're having a good time, we might stay, but the race is on and Nick wants to catch the race. So we'll see how long we stay. And then we'll just come home and decompress and relax. Happy Mother's Day to me. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Hope everybody's having a great day or night. Made it to Walmart. Nick is parking the car. He's, oops, he's with the girls parking the car. I'm gonna meet out him, meet out with him, meet there out with him, or I'm gonna walk around the store and try to find what we need. Guys, we're literally like two minutes to close. I barely made it. Daddy's going to get the receipt. Go get daddy. Go get daddy. Mommy's hella slow. I busted a jog into the pharmacy and it was the biggest mistake I could have made. I was only like jogging for like two seconds and I felt it in every bit and piece of my wound. But at least I have my medication to take real quick. I'm super slow compared to these fools. And Nick's wearing two babies and walking with a toddler and I'm still slower. Very hard truth. Look at him, look how far he is. He's not leaving me on purpose. I told them to go ahead. We made it to my mom's house. We got some Polaroids getting taken because um, I have a photo album, so I'm gonna wanna throw these in the album. And then I took some hard copy, or some on my phone so I can print out some hard copies. But we got this Polaroid, we got eight photos left. And the girls are looking cute, looking precious. Double troubles. Triple if you count this fool. I'm watching How I Met Your Mother right now. i um, seen it before. I'm rewatching it. I'm in my era of rewatching, so I've already seen with the new adult perspective, like I watched in my teens. Uh, the girls are sleeping right here next to me. We got Clementine and Raina just chilling. I'm about to feed them. Got some free formulas from the hospital, so I'm gonna try to feed them and burp them halfway through, and then feed them again the rest and. See if they take to it, because it's been like maybe three hours since they ate, and they've been sleeping this whole time. So, I am, um, just got done eating, I just got done eating a bowl of cereal after I had like real dinner, brisket, green beans, macaroni and stuff from Mother's Day party. So, I had that, and then I was wanting a sweet tooth, so I had the, sh the cereal, and Nick's out there in the man cave playing video games. We were originally playing video games together, but my stomach started hurting, and I was like, let's just chill for a little bit so that... I feel better and I can play and I can focus. I can't focus, my stomach started hurting. And I think it's because I took my iron medication and then had a snack when I'm supposed to like not eat at around my iron medication. So my stomach ended up hurting. I started watching TV to feel better. I do feel better now, but I need to get the twins fed and put back to bed. So I'm doing that, but that is the routine. Just got their bottles ready. I'm going to go ahead and feed them. It's gonna be hard to show that because I gotta hold the bottle, so I'll yeah, probably put the camera somewhere. Commercial. Okay. Raina. Hi, baby. Raina. You wanna eat? You wanna eat? Um, she's not opening up her mouth for me, but she's kind of tired, so, oops. I poked her, I poked her in the nose on accident. Okay, I just squeezed her cheeks and she took the bottle. Clementine's turn. Breeze. 
Hi, baby. So cute. My little baby baby. My youngest. Clementine. She took it pretty easily, too. She kind of doesn't want it, but she does. Good morning, girls. Shout out to the peanut butter and jelly outfits from the registry, my baby registry. We got Clementine jelly, Raina peanut butter. We got Nickity Nick about to do the girls laundry. He's super tired because he's always on night duty. And we are about to get swaddled. I am watching Grey's Anatomy and the girls are all swaddled up, thankfully. Can you tell who is who? Who's who? Who's who? Anyway, I have to make some calls, get uh, an appointment for their pediatrician this week. I have to call my insurance and update them on the births. And I need to call my OB and get my appointment scheduled. Just a lot of calls to make. Nick's giving me the paperwork. So far, uh, when I first woke up this morning, it felt like my stomach was being ripped in half. So I took some medications. I didn't take my big girl hydrocodone, but I'm probably going to if it still hurts to get up in like 20 minutes. I've waited after an hour and a half for my medication to kick in. So I'm gonna try to walk around now and see if it still hurts. Um, it's a very gloomy day. It honestly looks like it's like six in the morning and it's 11. I don't know why it's so gloomy. I got the girls in front of me here. It's, like storming, outside. it's storming outside according to Nick. He's got his gloves on going through paperwork for the twins. I don't know why he's trying to be all weird. But um, I'm making calls to like the pediatrician, my OB, my insurance, the hospital, all these after you get discharged calls. So taking care of that and it should take me another maybe 10, 15 minutes if everything goes good. And um, the house needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Our bedroom needs to be cleaned up a little bit. When we got home from the hospital, we literally just threw everything on the floor, threw the girls in the bed with us and just like relaxed. And then, you know, they went to sleep in their bassinets. Nick's trying to get them on pacifiers. I disagree with that very wholeheartedly. Jasmine went great without pacifiers. He's like, I don't want to hear their whining. So if we're Bro. doing pacifiers, we need to cut it off at like three months. Yeah, we're not gonna, keep, we're not gonna feed them pacifiers when they're like three years old. I don't and know what this fool's agenda they're, they're, is. They're, Premature. They're literally, technically, not even 35, 36 weeks yet. Okay, we'll see. I've been taking stool softeners since I came home from the hospital, and I finally have my first poop. If you don't want to see poop, trick warning right now. Poop. Anyway, so I'm gonna flush it. <laughs> I'm still bleeding out of my hoo-ha, and I still have excess discharge and stuff, but it's completely normal as long as it's not the size of a golf ball or bigger. Um, my stomach doesn't hurt that bad. Maybe the medication I took worked and kicked in or whatever. But now I get to see the girls because I've been away from them too long pooping. I come out and Nick's putting the girls in their swings.